Hello folks, I'm Odin Spack. Welcome back to Let's Replay New Super Mario Bros. Wii. This is part number two. Just finished the first half of World 1 last time, moving on to the second half. Looks like we're going to get our first water level of the game. Going to introduce them to some swimming mechanics. It looks like they kind of play around with the camera a bit, because I noticed that that part right there was pretty zoomed in. Then here it's kind of zoomed out a bit. I guess... I guess we're not restricted to making an engine where... Um, this is more Mario Maker stuff, by the way. <laughs> um, I guess we're not restricted to using an engine where you kind of have to make it something work with everything. I guess you can kind of do whatever you want, right? Does that make sense? I'm saying that, like, you know, they can have that first part be zoomed in because they, they know how that's going to work. Any anyway... Is there anything up here? There's a red... Like, how am I supposed to get this? I'm not gonna bother. If I had a fire flower, it'd be different, but... I think you want an ice flower for this level, honestly. I think to get a lot of star coins, you need to use, you need to freeze these ur urchin dudes. If I'm not mistaken. It's been... Like I said, it's been, been a hot minute since I played, but... I think that's ideally what you want to do. Is like freeze guys, and then they they stop these uh, these currents. I think that's what this teaches you right here. Like they plug up these pipes, yeah. those pipes. I think I probably I think I've named like a Mario three part, or it, or it might have been. Well, it was one of the advance games anyway. It was either advance two or advance four. I, think I named a part those pipes. <laughs> oh, I'm ridiculous, guys. I don't know how you watch me sometimes. I don't know how. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm playing New Soup Wii. Because, why not, I guess? It's 2020. And, really, I ha I haven't played through a Wii game in a, in a while. I guess I played through Punch-Out Wii last year. That was last year, though. It's not like... That was recent or anything. It's crazy to think that. Like that's so long ago. The Wii has so many great games, and people are always like, "Well, it's littered with shovelware," and it's like, "Well, don't play that then." Like you, you have options. You don't have to play the shovelware on the Wii. There's tons of great titles on here. I remember being looking so forward to this game. I don't think I was really looking forward to the multiplayer, although I. I was hoping it was going to be online. Imagine thinking that in in 2009 that Nintendo was going to have online multiplayer for their Mario game. No, that that took us literally until last year to happen. That took us literally till Mario Maker 2 to get online multiplayer. Unless I'm forgetting something, but I don't think I am. Have I even gotten the top of the flagpole yet? I think you get a one-up for doing it. I don't think I've gotten the top of the flagpole yet because I'm afraid to die because I'll, I'll like miss a jump on one of these Koopa Troopas or something. All right, I don't know why I'm stop talking. Can't go doing that. So here, here we got this Goomba here. This is gonna be our first like Hammer Bro esque fight on the map. It's basically the same thing. It even plays the same theme too. All you have to do, you know, I don't think you have to actually kill the Goombas, right? You just have to get all the toads. Yeah. I think in some of the other ones, don't you have to... Maybe that's you? That might be New Super Mario Bros. U, where you have to kill all the enemies and not get all the toad icons. I honest, That's like Mandela effect to me. I thought you had to kill all the toads. I, re I really don't remember that at all being a thing. Whatsoever. That's not real, it didn't happen. But yeah, that's basically your Hammer Brother fight to the games. Eventually, I think there are actual Hammer Brothers that appear on those. But we won't see those for some time. Oh, look, I actually got an item we can use on the map. Crazy. Maybe we'll get a second one. Maybe. Well, I'll hit every other thing. Holy crap, we got two items. Oh, who was Starman? Well, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. No Starman for me, but I did pretty well. Propeller Mushroom would have been nice. 
All right, look at that. Four items. Stocking up. Doing well. All right. I don't know which of these levels is technically the earlier one, but I'm already here, so I'm just going to go to this level and I'll use a mushroom because the game's probably going to throw these at me like crazy during the game. Oh, yeah, we got a bunch of mushrooms for freeing the toad, didn't we? I think he gave us three mushrooms for freeing that one toad that was in 1-1. One, one. If I'm not mistaken. Look at that, our first... First star coin is probably, probably right up there. I'm really confused why they put the propeller suit in uh, Mario Maker, like, 2. I'm surprised it doesn't have, or or even in 1, honestly. Because you was out at the time. I'm surprised they didn't use the like the flying uh, squirrel suit or whatever. To be honest, I'm glad because I could never get the hang of that power up. Like it never did what I wanted it to do. <laughs> it's basically a propeller mushroom that you can like glide with, but it's yeah. You're right. I don't know. I don't know what I'm debating here. Good idea that they didn't. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> oh yeah, that's why there's tons of motion control in this game. Cause there's tons of like motion like stuff. Cause it's like this is the Wii. Gotta have motion controls in here. Yeah, that's the one thing I really wasn't looking forward to doing again. Oh wow, it's making me go back for this. Weird. That's really strange. Last star coin? No, just a bunch of coins. Not worth my time. All right, get out of here. You done? Have they put the? Is this song in? Is this song in uh, Mario Maker? Is this the cloud theme? If it's not, it should be. I honestly don't even know. I don't think it is. No, it's, it's definitely not. I also, apparently we got the third star coin. I don't know where. I honestly do not even remember picking it up. <laughs> I'm going to look back at editing and just notice that I picked it up somewhere because I do not know where it was. And just like that, we could go to the castle. We could! We could. We're not going to. I really feel like there is a hidden exit. In like one two that leads over here or something. I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't. I must be thinking of something else. I don't know what I could be thinking of though. Like it, it's gotta be this game. Oh well, I'm sure someone in the comments will let me know. Someone who's very familiar with New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Because I'm just not. Like, like I could play through. Like it's funny thinking about this because when I think of like classic Mario games. I've probably played like one, two, three, world, like more times than I could count. And after that, it's like the rest of these games just blend together, which is like really bad. Like they, I guess I just haven't played them enough. I'm sure if I had, like if I was like a speedrunner or something and I had played these games more, then maybe it would it would stand out, but it, it just really doesn't. It It's so weird. They just all feel the same, and I don't know, maybe it's because they look the same? Like, when you think about DS and Wii and U and 2, like, they have literally all the same art style. Like, they're, they're not at all different. Even, like, 1, 2, and 3 all are on the NES, and, I'm, and when I mean 2, I mean, like, Super Mario Bros. USA, not, not the Doki Doki Panic one. But, well, like, when I think of those, like, they're, they all look graphically different, right? They do not look the same. Even on the All-Stars version, they still look different. And obviously World did, too, because on the SNES. But when you look at these games, they just all have the same exact graphic style, which, don't get me wrong, like, it's a cool way that Mario looks and everything. But I think it's responsible. It's, it's kind of like when I think of classic Mega Man where like two really stands out to me because it is definitely one I grew up on. But when I think of all the other Mega Man games on the NES, they really, like four through six feel like the same game to me. Like 
If you were to name a robot master from any of those Mega Man games, I would tell you, like, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you, like, which Mega Man game, probably. Like, it would take me a minute, and I'd probably figure it out, but there's a good chance I could get that wrong. Whereas, like, with two and, well, probably one through three, I'm probably good with. But four through six would take me, like, oh, yeah, is Toad Man from, is he from four or five or six? Honestly, I, I don't know. Like, Toad... I'll be honest with you right now. Toad, I don't know what Mega Man game Toad Man's from. I don't. I don't... I, I don't think he's in 6, but I couldn't tell you if he's from 4 or 5. So... Oh, so this is the first castle of the game. And I remember thinking, oh, cool, they remixed the... The Super Mario World, uh... Theme. And they, they kind of did, but they also kind of didn't. It's not really the same. There's a pipe there. So I think there's a secret, I think there's a secret with one of these cogs at the beginning. I don't think it actually leads to a star coin. So it's not important. So I'm not going to worry about it. Also, this was Mario Maker, those would have activated. But it's not. This is not Mario Maker, guys. I don't know how many times i got to tell you that, but it's not. So yeah, basically this game is like Mega Man 4, where I don't, I couldn't tell you what's in this game compared to a different uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii game. Now, I probably remember this game more so than any of the other New Super Mario Bros. games, only because I did a Let's Play of it way back when, so it's kind of got that nostalgia feeling for me, where I'm like, oh yeah, this was like, like, this was my first ever Dazzle project. Like, you guys remember the Dazzle, the thing you use to record videos in composite or even S-video output? Um, this was the this was the very first let's play I ever did with that so it kind of holds like a special place where I was getting serious about it and who knows if I had stayed with it maybe things would be different but I I'm no longer recording this with a dazzle I'm recording this off of my Wii U uh, using using HDMI so it should look significantly better than my original project will it be better than that original project I don't know probably not <laughs> I hope so, but let's be honest, probably not. It's, it's, nostalgia is a hard thing to combat, honestly. Like I said, before these boss doors, you're always going to find some sort of power up. Usually hidden, but obvious. If it's not, if it's not in a hidden block like that, it'll be like against the wall in a hidden block or something. Oh, check out these, like, un oh, five at a time. Anyway. But yeah, so like I said, there's a lot of nostalgia here. Also, I still use that same Dazzle, although the the SVD doesn't work on it anymore, unfortunately. And when I saw Kamek appear for the first time, I'm like, man, they're really going all out with the nostalgia overload. First, you got your Mario 3 references, you know, fighting the Koopalings. Now you got your Yoshi's Island, where Kamek's... I, I thought he was going to transform the Koopalings, and that honestly would have been way cooler than just transforming the battlefield. Like, if he, if he had made them, like, giant or, like... I think he does maybe transform some of them and give them like some powers maybe, but it's, it's mostly the battlefield that gets affected more so. It is cool to see Kamek though. And the key, again, that's just a reference to Yoshi's Island. What does that key do? Did it open that gate? I don't know. Like that's it. That's that. That's what you got the key for. Like. <laughs> I, I think it's literally just there to, to be like, like, hey, you know in Yoshi's Island when you beat the boss of a world and you get a key? Yeah, that's... That's it. <laughs> like, that's... That's really it. That's what they do. Oh, yeah, there's airships. More Mario 3 stuff. Look, we got all the star coins in World 1. Yay. I don't think it'll say, like, you beat all the levels. I think I'll just say you got all the star coins. So, I mean, that's that's a good, like, visual... Like, hey, I did everything. There's big Roy Koopa there. He's in the desert world of this game, which is World 2. Often a desert world in a Mario game. Not always. Most of the time. Alright guys, that's going to be it for me though. I'm done. Like I said, I'm going to try to tackle this probably like half of a world at a time. Although I think some of the later worlds have maybe two towers. We'll figure it out when we get there. Alright, I've been Odin. I'll see you next time for part 3. Bye now.